Hello and welcome back to Minecraft and Survival episode 9, where in the last episode we completely took over this tower right here. We got rid of all the spawners, we got rid of all the shulkers, at least I hope. Um, and I asked you guys whether or not we should take this tower as our base or if we should go ahead and live in one of the biomes from the better end mod. And I have read through your comments and I have looked through the poll and it is very close to a 50-50. In fact, the poll tipped over by only two votes. So I have gone ahead and looked over through all those results and what you guys have said. And I think I have found a pretty good middle ground, taking it as it is very close to a 50-50, that we will not be permanently staying in this space right here, but we will be using it as a base away from base, a home away from home, an outpost, if you will. So we will live here sometimes, we will use it on our journeys, we'll use it as an outpost because we are in fact right here anyway. We are quite far away from, um, from our house and I have installed a mod. <laughs> I have installed a map mod. Ser Hold on, I need to get this name right. Seros Minimap. Hopefully I'm saying that name right anyways. It is a quite popular minimap mod. Um, and here you can actually see if I scroll out this whole area that we have um, that we have explored. I believe our home is somewhere actually right here. Um, and then if we go over here, you can see that this is the tower that we have seen right here. Uh, the, sorry, the tower that we are currently in. I don't remember where we came from. I think we came from over here. So yeah, this is a minimap mod and I have installed this also so we can make bookmarks. So this, okay, dark purple, we can choose a color right here and we give this a name. So end tower outpost right here and we can confirm it. And then if we look back at the map, hold on, E, yeah, that's fine. We can see the, the, uh, the bookmark right there and we can add multiple and so we can see where our different things are at. So that is really, really cool. I think anyway, it will be added to the mod pack, of course, that you can get on my Patreon page if you're interested in that. Um, so yeah, also I now need to eat, but that is going, that, I've got away with that because that's gonna be annoying. So I think before we go ahead and leave this place today, I need to make this place a little bit more accessible. Lighting levels shouldn't be an issue, so I don't need to worry about lighting, but I do need to worry about me being able to get up and down this place. Um, and also I want to fix a few of these things because uh, it, it's looking a little bit messy at the moment. So I'm going to fix some of these things. I'm going to add these stairs back. Um, and yeah, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and make a ladder system so we can get up and down easily. And then we still, we are still missing. We're still make, missing a crucial biome in order for us to be able to proceed if we go into our inventory. We need this crystal shard right here. And the reason why we want that is, I don't remember, there should be a book somewhere. All right, I made a little bit of an oopsie. Um, the reason why I couldn't find this specific book right here is because I was missing the mod patchouli. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know at what point I removed that, but uh, that, that's a whoopsie, but I fixed it now. So we can actually still make the this thing. I thought that we couldn't make it. Um, so yeah, that, that's a little bit of the uh, recording I'm scrapping because that, that's just me panicking on what to do next. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I will need some more food. So let me get some food, let me install some ladders and let me get right back to you on what we're gonna do next. All right, installing some ladders here and that should be good. All right, that is a pretty easy way of getting up. We might as well use the staircase now that it's here. Not the prettiest, but uh, it's here. Now I just need to figure out a way of going all the way up to, well, the top platform pretty much. And I mean, I mean, this pillar is kind of ideal, isn't it? I think I'm going to have to use it. <laughs> also, because I have a bunch of these, I can continue it all the way up to the very tippity top. So I think I'm going to do that. I will need quite a few more ladders though. I've just figured out something that is quite unfortunate and that is that I don't actually have any means of picking up the ender chests once I take, once I place them down. I don't have anything with men, not mending, uh, silk touch on it to pick this up. So that's a little bit unfortunate. So I can't actually move that inside. Not yet anyway. All right, this should lead all the way up to the tippity top. Just like that. Perfect. I do think though that I potentially want to, uh, hold on. 
Yeah, something like that, where we can actually walk in the middle of this thing. Might even remove the pillars, but I don't know that yet. Alright, so far so good. Let me organize my inventory here, and uh, we should be good to, uh, to go. Alright, I have organized the top of this tower a little bit, and also organized our stuff, so this is our main most important core loot like we have berries and then we have of course our valuables like diamonds and then in here is like armor and other stuff that we also want to take home with us then we have some stone over here which i'm actually going to take here and some wood stuff and i haven't filled anything in the other boxes just yet now i actually want to go through uh the stuff that we have gathered so far so our main objective is still to get the end for dummy's book um which of course to make that we need ender dust and crystal shards, which we haven't gotten the crystal shards yet, which means we're still on the hunt for those um, in order to get the end for Dummy's book. Now, some of the materials that we've gotten is uh, the Thalassium ingot. Now, when we take a look at the usage for that, we can make an endstone smelter, and it can also be a replacement for iron in making buckets, cauldrons, compasses, harpers, minecarts, pistons even, um, and yeah, all sorts of cool stuff. We can even make chandeliers, cool stuff. Now, what I have noticed is in this mod, whenever you want to make like a tool or armor, you just don't just make it like normal. You make like the handles and then you combine it. So if I search for, like for example, say I want to make a Thalassium sword, right? I would need a smithing table and I would need to combine these two items into one or say i want to make an axe i don't need to make the axe head how do i make the axe head i need to make that on some sort of anvil in this case a thalassium anvil terminite anvil and a terium anvil plus using a hammer and yeah i really really like that system and we also have a material called terminite now this i think is much rarer and much stronger as well if we look at the armor actually hold on it's a little bit under diamond, but it is still pretty cool. Um, in fact, I think it's the same as diamond, like in the attack department. I don't know. Anyway, say I want to make a terminite sword, right? I would need the terminite pieces. So if I want to make that, I would have to do that on a terminite anvil or an aeternium anvil. And to make a terminite anvil, yeah, that's quite expensive. So there is quite a bit of progression. Oh, you can. Oh. Oh, I didn't see this. You can combine a Thalassium Anvil with a Terminite Anvil. Uh, terminite Block. We have a full Terminite Block. And I'm starting to think if that is the best thing we can use our Terminite for. Because obviously I don't want to use it on like trapdoors or whatnot. We only have nine ingots of it so far. I think the most best thing I can possibly make with this, considering we also have normal diamonds and whatnot, is probably to turn it into a even more powerful anvil. Hmm, because we can make a diamond smith hammer, so that shouldn't be a problem. I think making a terminite anvil is going to be the best course of action. I kind of really want to go home with all this stuff and like, like do stuff with it there because I also have a few things at home, but I don't think I'm going to have anything there that I don't have here. So I think we might as well go ahead and do some stuff with it here and then go home because we need to continue our exploration anyway. Um, so yeah, also these pillars are really annoying me. That is so much better. But I think we need to start making some stuff. Now I do have very good armor, but I could use some upgrades for some tools. And of course, don't just want to make the boring no diamond stuff. I want to make something with the new stuff. Now tungsten, what is that used for? Also armor and whatnot. Not as exciting. Um, I actually don't know how to like shadowberry seeds. I don't actually know how to plant these. Let's see if we can know how to plant these. All right, I've tried planting them on like normal here and normal endstone and whatnot, but it doesn't seem doable. So I assume that it has to be placed in the biome they actually originated from, which means I could really use a silk touch a pickaxe or something to get that but anyways i'm still let me think about what is the best course of action for us to do go exploring or go crafting new stuff with our new um pieces of equipment let me think about it and i'll be right back all right here is what we are going to do 
I could use some new tools, aka a new axe and a new shovel. Now I do realize that somewhere we do have a diamond shovel in here, which honestly I'm probably going to use, but I still need a better axe. So I think this is a perfect opportunity to try and use this thalcium stuff and see how the durability and whatnot is. If it's really good, we can start using it for other stuff as well. Um, so in order to make a, I want to make an endstone smelter, first of all, which should be really good. And for that, we need two endstone bricks, four thalcium ingots and two um, uh, furnaces over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this, this guy down. And I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm going to take, I think, 16. So I'm actually going to place both of these furnaces down. I'm going to put 16, 8 ores in each, and I'm going to fuel it, of course, with wood. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. And then that should give us thalassium ingots, which we can then turn into, actually, I think I'm only going to make four. Yeah, because I only need four, then I can make the next furnace, which should be pretty cool. So there we go. That's four. I can pick these up now again, put the wood away, and I should be able. There we go. Should then be able to. What am I looking for? This stuff right here. I should be able to now make the endstone smelter right here. Endstone smelter, place that down, and I assume we can use. No. I cannot put wood in as this smelting thing. Hold on here. Endstone smelter. Endstone smelter. Am I not able to. Am I not able to use like normal fuel? Question mark? Fuel. Coal. Oh, it needs a, oh, charcoal block, block of coal. How do I get charcoal block? Can I still make charcoal the normal way? I can. Okay, so this furnace needs a lot more stuff in order to, to be able to smelt things. But if used correctly, it can actually duplicate some items. So if we use plop in two ores, we actually get three out of the result. Okay. Well, in that case, let me um, let me let me do that. So that will be smelted. I'm gonna go get some more wood. Actually, I'm gonna teleport down. Okay, maybe. Oh no, that Enderman is now angry at me. Uh, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna get some wood, make a charcoal block, and see how this goes. All right, we are now making charcoal that we can then turn into a charcoal block and then power the endstone smelter. Hopefully, one block is going to be enough, but. I don't know. All right, we can now make a charcoal block just like so. And now I'm going to put this thalcium ore in here and then put the charcoal block right there. Now the question is, how long does this fuel actually last? Looks like it lasts for quite a while, which is nice considering it is a charcoal block, but the smelting process also does take quite a while. So let's see if it goes down per operation. It does not seem to do so. So I'm going to go ahead, actually, and put some more thalcium in here. Just like so, because we might as well let this smelt. Because we actually need quite a lot in order to get to this point of making a thalcium axe. But we are getting three per two, so that is awesome. While that is making, uh, being made, we can now make a smithing table. Also, either use a iron or thalcium. Now, as we actually have a good... Um, what's it called? Supply of thalcium around us. I'm gonna go ahead and make the thalcium version right here. Like so, the smithing table. And I'm actually gonna get rid of that and place that there. Place the pedestal the, on the pedestal. Pedestal on a pedestal. Perfect, because that makes sense. All right, the fuel has now gone down by like one pixel. <laughs> so it is, it's lasting quite a bit. So that is really, really good. Now, the next thing we need to make is uh, um, thalcium axe head, but we also need an anvil. And for that, we need quite a few um, thalcium blocks. But with this smelter, we should be able to get that very quickly. All right, I now have 34 thalcium ingots, so we can now go ahead and make our three blocks with it. Just like that. One, two, three. And then we can go ahead and, of course, make the thalcium and... Wait, am I saying that right? Thalassium. 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 
Celestium Anvil. There we go. We have the Celestium. We now have the Celestium Anvil. And now that that is done, we need the Celestium Hammer. <laughs> and for that, we need another block, which we can now make just like this. I love this furnace. This furnace is amazing. So we can now. Uh, wait, hold on. Smithing table. Right, we need the smithing table like this. And we now have our Thalassium hammer, just like so. Next, uh, wait. Next, we need to make this thing over the anvil. So three ingots and the hammer will create the Thalassium axe head, which we can now make just like this. We can also make Thalassium forged plate, which we can use to make the armor, hoe head, pickaxe head, shovel head, all that good stuff. But since we already have the other tools pretty well made, I'm gonna go ahead and wait, where did the axe go? Make the axe head like so. Now can question is, can I leave? Can I leave? No, I cannot leave the hammer in there, which means these pedestals, I cannot speak to them. This pedestal now has a function. Hold the hammer. Next, we need a few sticks, and then we need to go to the smithing table and combine the axe head with a stick, and we then have our first Thalassium axe, our very first item made from Better End, which I'm actually very excited about. So let's compare this with a diamond one. If we compare with a diamond axe, right? So this has 8.5 attack damage. This has nine attack damage. One attack speed and one attack speed. So very, very close to the diamond one. Now I'm curious, immediately curious about the dura durability of this thing. So if we press H, F3 and H, durability is 320. Question is, can I repair this thing? Um, I will assume I can. If we just take this and well, let's upgrade, of course, if we go to the anvil. Yeah, we can repair it like normal. All right, that is actually really, really cool. This will replace my old uh, stone axe, which I'm going to put in there because... Is it my very first axe? I actually don't know if it has lasted that long. Um, but anyways, I'm actually going to go ahead and take this and put it in here because we might as well let it smelt. Um, yeah. What, what is this used for again? Okay, um, right. We need this for the book, actually, so that's that. Um, but that is our Thalassium Axe. So I just thought it was interesting to get into the works of actually making items in Better End because I think it's very cool. Now, we do still have time for this episode, so we, of course, not done today. I have been studying the map a little bit, and our home, as you can see, is right here. This is our church fruit farm, and our tree is right here. And we are actually right here. So if we went over this forest, then made maybe a little bit of a bridge and then end up pulled over and then end up pulled over again, we would be very close to home right here. And this would pretty much connect it. Um, otherwise, we would have to go all the way back through this forest over here, past here, through here. So this, that is a very long way. So we are actually closer to home than we have been like over here. Now, I would love to continue either over here in this direction or towards this and why I am enticed to go this direction is mainly because that this biome is what has those shadowberry seeds, um, which I am very interested in getting because that is another food source. Now, my question is what it actually takes to um, to plant them. I want to test something. Um, I want to make something. I want to make another tool, actually. And that is going to be the whole head. Just because, just in case that is in fact what you need, I want it, of course, to be made out of thalassium. So we're going to make a thalassium hoe right here. Minus five attack damage? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I've never seen a minus attack damage thing before. Okay. Um, but I want this. I don't know what it will be used for. Um, wait, tell me. It does not seem that you can till any ground down here in the end. I guess it was worth a shot. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a lime shulker box with me. I guess this pedestal now I will use. Um, 
actually, let's just, yeah, something like that. I'm going to take this lime chocolate box with me because we are in fact going on a journey. I just want to make sure that I don't leave anything behind that I want with me. We will, of course, go back here. Um, I think I'm going to keep on this armor. It is already pretty beaten up and it is the worst iron armor that we have. So I think I'm going to bring that. Um, I could, of course, make Thalassium armor, but I think I'm going to wait with that right now. Otherwise, this episode is going to be too long as well. So I'm going to go down. I have one ender pearl on me. That is actually a little bit of an issue, but I'm... It should be easy enough to get some more. All right, I think I have decided. I have three ender pearls on me now. Hopefully, they will get more if needed. Uh, I want to go in that direction and see where that leads us. Um, we do have an end, end point. No, a bookmark. A the waypoint. We have a waypoint to this place, so we should be able to be able to find our way home pretty easily. Um, but I want to go back to this creepy place, and actually, I want to go that way. Um, but I think it will be easiest if I end up over there. So I'm gonna try that and uh, see where we end up because we do still need this crystal shard right here. Here we go. Now this place is quite creepy and I do really not want to get hit by any of these guys. Right. That's right. I need to remember those plants. They give you blindness. Blindness bad. All right, I have two ender pearls. Can I even make that? I don't know if I can. I'm gonna try it though. <laughs> this could be bad. Nope, we're good. Can I eat though? Okay, that's a bad. This is a bad place to be. This is a, okay. We're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Right, shadow berry seeds. I'm gonna take these because that's an alternative food source. I hate this. This is creepy. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Ah! Maybe this was a bad idea. Can I get out of this biome for just a minute here? <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Oh, oh, I thought that was the void. I thought that was the void. Nope. Oh, that, that, I need a break. Man, that was scary. Eh, don't do that to me, game. Okay. I hate you. <laughs> uh, right. Get me over there. Hopefully this is worth it as well. Um, this biome over here is huge. So I will say. the bu That's new. Hold up. Isn't that new? That plant at least is new. Hold on. Like I can recognize the, the, bi the biome. Like itself. But those plants. Those are new. Those are new. I have never seen those before. That's interesting generation. I think maybe it's because I updated the mod or something. I don't know, but that's very, very cool. Um, but yeah, this biome is very, very cool. And um, also successfully creepy. Look at all those. All right, I'm going to try and make my way over there safely. But um, there's, of course, never any guarantee. Um... Generation, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna teleport over there. We should be able to teleport back anytime anyway. Uh, I want to see what those things are. So hopefully this hits it. It did. Oh, we're underground. We're underwater. Whew. Yeah, this is the umbrella um umbrella biome. Oh wait, that's what there is it over here. Hold up. What's this? Neon cactus. Ah, yeah, there we go. That's the orange biome over there. All right, that, though, is new. I haven't seen that type of grass before. Okay. I don't like these sounds. Creeping me out a bit. That also looks like some sort of cave. Like, am I going crazy, or does that look like some sort of cave? But I think it. I think it's cut off over there. That's, that's what I was thinking before. Okay. Um... Right. Well, is it just me or do I want to kind of do that? Let's see. Neon cactus. Neon cactus block, which can then be made into... Okay, so nothing... Well, it's a life source, so I mean... I'm gonna take it with me home. Because, yeah, unfortunately we have no fish here. 
All right, here is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to teleport back over here. I'm going to make sure that I am safe from these guys. Uh, I do need some stone and I need some wood in order to make a little bit of a camp because I want to cook up There's so many of these guys. I want to cook up some of these berries here. Found some stone. And now time for my question. Can these only be planted in this specific biome? Yes. All right, so it has to be on this type of soil. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of a hidey hole in here. Um, I do not want to get trapped though. So let me actually just do that real quick. Not creepy at all. Hey neighbor. I'm then going to go ahead and make a crafty table and I'm going to make a furnace real quick. And I'm going to try, not that. I want to cook the berries because cooked berries should be better than the normal berries. Um, also got to place down my shulker box because I am running out of food, which is unfortunate, of course, but, um, that's just how it is. All right, let's see how much they actually fill up. All right, pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to cook these up, make a plan, and we'll be back in the next episode. Hopefully, I'm most likely going to explore further down this way. I want to maybe check out the shipwreck, get another end chest. That seems good. Looks like we have some more weird cave generation, perhaps, over here. There's also that way weird red stuff over here that I want to check out as well. Yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I hope to see you in the next one. Things are starting to get very interesting now that we finally have gotten some progress. And I must say this Celestia Max is pretty cool. Though the durability, not the greatest, but it's still cool. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Contalana, where Utah, see, Zapu, a fluid, me, my, I just abandoned me, could dig now.